Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video I will showcase my visit at uh, the recently opened brew pub in uh, Helsingborg, uh, Sweden. It's called the Benchwarmers Tap Room, an amazing place by the ocean where you can buy and drink delicious craft beer from local breweries and you can eat some of the most delicious pizza ever. So enjoy the video. Start to rust before I start to decompose. <clears throat> wow, guys, I really recommend this place. If you love craft beer and pizzas, then this is the place for you. I ate quite like one of the most delicious pizzas I've ever eaten. It was with the asparagus, ramson, and the aged cheese. So good, and of course, the beer was really good. So, if you um, are passing by Helsingborg, Sweden, then you really need to go to this place. Bench warmers tap room. As you can see, the the restaurant or the pub wasn't uh, that crowded. It's because, well, it was bad weather. Weather it was quite cold, and uh, yeah, because of the virus, of course. But, well, it was a nice first experience, and I didn't have to uh, use force to get through. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Welcome to another uh, beer review. I'm here at the Benchwarmers Tap Room, a newly opened brew pub here in Helsingborg. And I'm trying one of their beers, a collab between uh, Benchwarmers and Tampa Bay Brewery from Florida. So it's an Heisey, he Heisey, Heisey IPA. <laughs> so, look, amazing. <laughs> Looks nice and cloudy. Mm. It's brewed with Cipra, Citra and Amarillo hops as well, and uh, oats and wheat. So, uh, yeah. Smells fruity, a bit mango, passion fruit even. Um, love drinking of these glasses, actually. Uh, yeah. Mm. Got a nice nice uh, bitterness um, it's like the like a lemon peel or uh, something like that uh, yeah a lot of citrus passion fruit and mango it's really good fruity fruity beer it's called uh, hop sandwich uh, so humle uh, smorgas so well, it's a nice solid, uh, solid IPA. So you you get a very, it's a very zesty and uh, intense hoppiness. It's like, boom, right up there. And then you get a hint of sea salt, just to give a well balanced and uh, nice uh, tasting beer. Uh, so uh, and. It tastes like a, almost like chlorophyll or like a like a leaf or something, uh, or like a wood sap or a wood or something. It's a little bit like a, not smoke, but something in that uh, regard. I, I recently uh, chewed on a on a licorice, licorice root uh, recently, and it had that like this. It got licorice uh, taste, but it also has like a not bitterness, but since it's a root, it's a bit tree, tree, tree tasting. Like yeah, wood. That's what I'm uh, trying to explain. Wood, chlorophyll, and licorice. That's the note I get. And it's finished off with nice, nice acidity and uh, a dash of sea salt. Nice, nice hoppy bitterness and uh, <laughs> all of that. And uh, I would give this like uh, 7.6 out of uh, 10 points. I bought it here in my um, the brew pub. It's very very empty right now because it's a bit cold outside. Me and my friend here is uh, defying the the weather and just trying to stick with it. It's almost almost spring and summer here in Sweden actually. Almost summer. Almost, almost, almost summer. summer. This is like summer. This is like summer. We, we are Vikings, right? 
Viking, Viking from spy. Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so it's a nice uh, hazy uh, IPA. Cheers, guys. Yeah.